Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Do you ever feel like your life just isn't going the way that you want? Are you unmotivated or burnt out from everyday living? Nowadays, it can be so hard to set healthy habits and goals for yourself when things seem to be going a million miles an hour. Between school activities, work, and hobbies, it can be difficult to figure out what to prioritize. However, there are some general rules that if you stick to, will greatly improve your mindset and habits. So with that said, here are six life-changing rules to follow every day. Number one, if possible, sleep early. Have you stayed up late to cram for a test the next day? Most people don't realize how important sleep is. For example, according to a UCLA study, sacrificing sleep for extra review time is counterproductive. Students from several Los Angeles high schools reported in diaries how long they studied, how long they slept, and whether or not they experienced academic problems. They found that diminishing sleep in order to study was actually associated with doing more poorly on a test, quiz, or homework, which was the opposite of the student's intent. What this means is that you should try to prioritize sleep to keep yourself happy and healthy. Number two, avoid social media in the mornings. Do you use social media first thing in the morning when you get up? While social media is a fun way to stay connected, using it too often can end up doing more harm than good. For example, you may start to compare yourself with various influencers and celebrities. You could also start fixating on the number of likes you get. And if it doesn't seem like a lot, you might get caught up in a negative thought spiral. These harmful mindsets are especially damaging in the morning because that's what sets the tone of your day. Are you going to wake up feeling refreshed and ready to seize the moment or let social media bring you down? Number three, believe in yourself while being aware of your limitations. You've likely heard the phrase, anything is possible, but sometimes it can be better to accept your losses than for something that's not meant to be. For example, if a relationship gets to the point where it causes you constant stress, fear, and exhaustion, consider whether it's still worth pursuing. Similarly, if chasing a dream job makes you feel drained and anxious all the time, ask yourself whether it's really worth sacrificing your emotional well-being for. The bottom line is that while having faith in yourself is important, it shouldn't be blind. Instead, it should be balanced with your limitations. Number four, make time for learning. Do you have any hobbies? If so, what are they? Hobbies are a great way to stay mentally stimulated. As you grow up, it's important to find things outside of work or school that you're passionate about. That way you can lead a more balanced, engaging life. It could be anything from playing an instrument to cooking, as long as you enjoy it. Number five, treat others how they want to be treated. Don't get this confused with the phrase, treat others how you want to be treated. While it makes sense in some scenarios, it can make more sense to treat others how they want to be treated. What may work with you might not be the best as what works for others. For example, you could enjoy being told things straightforward, but that could be too direct and harsh to the friend you're talking to. You have to take their feelings into account too and adjust accordingly. After all, no two people are alike, so why treat everyone exactly the same? And number six, stay positive. When things go wrong, is it your first instinct to imagine worst case scenarios? Our brains have the tendency to make situations seem a lot worse than they are. And many times we only realize this long after the fact. So while it may be hard, try to stop your gut instinct of immediately jumping into a negative thought spiral. That way you stress yourself out less and are much more likely to make calm, rational decisions. Do you think these rules will help you through your everyday living? If so, which ones and how? Feel free to comment down below with your thoughts, suggestions, or experiences. If you found this video helpful, like and share it with friends that might find it valuable too. Remember to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content. All the sources used are added in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.